I'd like to call this meeting of the Human Resources Committee to order. It's Wednesday, May 3rd, 2017. It's 2.30. We are in the School Administration Building, and Mrs. Oden will call the roll. Okay, Mrs. Zeem? Here. Mrs. Oden is here. Dr. Murataki? Here. Ms. Hohensey? Here. The alternate? Okay, other attendees are Dr. Brown, Ms. O'Gara, Mr. Kaufman, and Mr. Farrington. And do we're looking for a motion to go into non-public session under RSA 91A colon 2B, the hiring of any person as a public employee. Second. And that's a roll call. Uh, Mrs. Zeem? Yes. Mrs. Oden? Yes. Dr. Murataki? Yes. And I, we don't need Ms. Hensey. We have the... <laughs> But you're valuable. Valuable. magic number. We don't need Thank major you. vote. So we are now in non-public. I'd like to reconvene this meeting of the Human Resources Committee. And at this time, I will look to Dr. Brown to give us a recommendation. Oh, do you need a motion Oh, I need to, to seal back. the minutes. Seal the, seal the minutes. To. Can I get somebody to make that motion? Uh, make motion to seal the minutes of the RSA 91A colon 3. three, three. Second. And we need a roll call on that. Yes. Um, Mrs. Zeem? Yes. Mrs. Oden? Yes. Dr. Martaki? Yes. The minutes are sealed. So now we'll go back to Dr. Brown. Sorry. Thank you very much. Mrs. Zeem, I'd like to nominate Sherry Fulton to be the principal of Dr. Crisp Elementary School for the 2017-2018 school year. I move that this committee uh, recommend to the full board that we accept the superintendent's recommendation for the principal of Dr. Crisp Elementary School. I move it forward to the full board. Do I get a second from? I have a second. Mm -hmm. Second. I was going to say Mrs. Oh, okay. No. So that being the case, this is a roll call vote. Mrs. Zeem? Yes. Mrs. Oden? Yes. Dr. Murataki? Yes. Yes. It's. You are officially the nominee. <laughs> would you like to share with the public while you're... I would just like to say thank you. I'm so honored. I, from the bottom of my heart, I am such... I'm so excited to lead this school and to be a part of the team of Dr. Crisp. It, it's going to be amazing, and um, I welcome all of you to come in and to be... to see us and to, to watch us grow. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. We look forward. So that being the case, we would, and if you'd like to leave, we I understand. I Thank you. I'm sure you have a busy schedule. <laughs> and the next thing on our um, list, on our agenda, is the 2017-18 teacher principal renominations. Do I have a motion? Uh, Dr. Martin. Yes, thank you. I, I move that we accept the uh, personal recommendation of teacher and principal renominations for 2017-2018. Is there a second? I, I uh, am going to abstain because I don't want to have the perception of conflict of interest. So, uh, well, it would be Mrs. Hohenty who is the alternative. Or, or you alternative. Can, you oh, can I see. But somebody. you're not going to vote? So. No. I think we should have three then, so I would think that Mrs. Hohenty okay, would vote I'll on it. I will second it. All right, so, so that being the case, are there any questions, comments, concerns? I have a question. Um, Mr. Kaufman. When I looked at this, I, mean, I, looked at this uh, I just want to ensure that this proposal includes all the interim rollbacks. In other words, I know Mr. Fredrickson is listed here as the principal at Elm Street, and I'm sorry, Ian is listed as his assistant, and I saw that. I hope I get her name wrong. The math teacher is it Kelly? Mm -hmm. Started currently with a K. The, currently the she interim, went back. Yes. Currently the interim assistant is listed as a math teacher. Right. So that's my question: is all the interim rollbacks have occurred? Yes. But my question is: that's thank you. That that was important to know. The secondary question related to that is uh, about the adult education director. That is a separate nomination nominating process. That is not, you, you he not took a job, right? There was an opening. Principals and um, <coughs> educators <coughs> that are required to have a credential for their 
their position are in the renomination process. The adult and director is not part of that process. Okay. Just like my position is not part of that process, or Dan's position is not part of that process. Okay. Dr. Mortaki? Yes, uh, my question is that the revised personnel re recommendations sheet is the only difference that we have in added items number nine, which is a leave of absence for Mr. Hoffman? Or are there other changes? I thought the change was the personnel recommendations. That one out? That's so We're on the teacher principal renomination. No, this is also part of today. I understand. Right. Oh, you jumped ahead. Oh, I see. All right. Ahead. My apologies. All right. I think Tara included in the packet a revised sheet that has that number nine, and maybe not all of us have that. We, here's copies it is, here. But we're not on that yet, so we need okay. to wait all right. and finish this one, okay? Yep. yep. So it's all right. It's an easy mistake because okay. you, you well, can I'll defer the, the question until the next yes, one. Yes, thank you. So that being the case, are there any further questions, comments? Seeing none, uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. So I it's, abstain. You please, abstain. So the three of us unanimous, okay? And now we are on the personnel recommendations. Um, are there any questions, comments, concerns on these personnel recommendations? I have to have Mrs. Holland. Well, why is Gary Hoffman taking leave of absence? Is he joining? Um, so he's Adam he is, he's a gra no. He's a doing a graduate program, which is intense, I believe, because of the college that he's attending. And so he um, he had originally asked for um, a sabbatical, I think, in previous years. Um, so he's t asking you for unpaid leave of absence. It's not for the entire semester. I believe it's only for three months. Yeah. Right. Okay. And did you have a question, Mr. Kaufman? I saw your hand. Yes, thank you. Yeah, yes. My concern was same, same uh, referencing of leave of absence. So we would bring in a continuing sub from January through the end of April. Not for Mr. Kaufman. Under the teacher contract, the definition of a continuing sub is somebody who takes the place of a teacher on unpaid leave of at least 90 days. And 90 days would be from somewhere around January 22nd, 23rd to the end of the school year, and he's actually taking a shorter amount of time. So we would put a fully certified teacher in his okay. place, an interim or long-term substitute. Okay, well my concern is this, the uh, May and June are, I, I mean it just seems for the students benefit to have the same teacher for the entire semester, I mean that's what I'm thinking. This won't this be disrupt, I mean I have no problem obviously with Mr. Hoffman going on an extended leave, I'm just trying to think of the impact on the students that they've worked with a teacher January through the end of April and now that they're getting toward finals or finishing up the, the school year, all of a sudden, for them, someone new is going to show up. So, you know, we have an FMLA leave pol uh, process that happens. It's a federal statute. And we have typically 100 teachers during the course of one school year that are on a family medical leave. And so that happens quite often. They can take 12 weeks of leave and they can take time intermittently depending on what's going on and so oftentimes it's not unusual for us to have long-term subs in the position covering the teacher so this would be no different than all of those I understand that but you haven't addressed my concern which was that of the viewpoint of the student that's fine I it's fine Thank Mrs. Oden, did you, you want to add something? Uh, I, I, yes, I did want to add because I can remember being out six weeks when I had a herniated disc. Um, number one, it, it, they have a, he has a benefit here of being on a team, so his teammates will, will help did. him. Also, um, he's, he's taught this for a while, so he knows, he knows the curriculum, he has a, a pretty good idea of what's going on and I know that he will have a lot of communication with the person that's there. He probably will go in during the week before he comes back and spend some time there talking to the person. It, he's very conscientious and I, it, 
it's not ideal. I hear what you're saying, but it probably will be one of the smoothest transitions uh, there can be because he's very conscientious. He's he, Whoever goes in, I'm sure, will be uh, certified and will be competent, and there will be a lot of communication. So I think... I think both of them will keep the interest of the students right there, and I'm sure his teammates will help him. So I, I will support this. Dr. Mortaki. To support further discussion, I move that this uh, committee recommend to the full board adoption of the personal recommendations revised of May 3, 2017. Well, that's all right, but I have, a, I have a question, and I'm not sure that it doesn't need to go into non-public. Okay. Um, but anyway, if I, if I may have a second, we can have further discussion. Well, if you exclude the, the number, don't they usually just exclude the... I, I have a question regarding number three. So can all right, we, I'll we withdraw the motion. One, two, and all but three, excluding three. Is that the way we've done it in the past? I the believe so. The sections are renumbered, Mrs. Lee. Oh, you're talking on... I thought we were I've on this. No, that's... We're, we're already approved. Yeah, we've already approved yeah, we that. <laughs> Okay, so I'll make a motion to go into non-public uh, under RSA. RSA 91A colon 3 2C. Is two, that 2A or C? Two, I guess. Yeah, maybe two, C is probably better. You're right. 2C. Yes. Matters which, if discussed in public, likely would affect adversely the reputation of any person other than a member of the Board of Ed unless such person requests an open meeting. Thank you. Okay. Second. Okay, roll and call. Roll call, Mrs. Yes. Zeem? Yes. Mrs. Odin, yes. Dr. Marchaki? Yes. I'd like to reconvene this motion of uh, this committee meeting of the Human Resources, and um, I need a motion. Uh, I think Dr. Marchaki? Yes, thank you. Uh, I would like to move the no, this you have to see the minutes. Minutes. Oh, no. I'm sorry. You're right. Didn't we seal the minutes, though? No. no. Motion, we left that. motion to seal the minutes under RSA 91A, colon 3-3. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. It's, it's your turn. It's all right. Uh, that being said, now we will go back to Dr. Moritaki. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Farrington. You bet. Thank you. So I move that this committee recommend to the full board Acceptance of the personnel recommendations revised of May 3, 2017, with the addition of one item. Item number 10 would be renomination of Kelly Holmes as a continuing contract teacher. And do I get a second? For the, you uh, mentioned the school year. Can I see? All those in favor? Aye. 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 And so now we. That voted, that, that wasn't an amendment, that was the motion, okay. So is there any further new business to come before this committee? Seeing none, do I have a motion? Move to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Thank you all.